agoraphobia. This is exactly what it sounds like. And I'm glad I don't have this one because I have written 13 books of my own. But bibliophobia, B-I-B-L-I-O, um, B-I-B-L-I-O, P-H-O-B-I-A. This refers to somebody who is afraid of books. And I have a huge collection of books. If you can read the title of this one, if you want to read ahead and find out what all those phobias are without having to wait for me to get around to them, this is a great way to do it. There's literally thousands in here. But I've written so many books on my own that if I'd had bibliophobia, I wouldn't be able to do what it is that I'm doing now. I wouldn't be able to interview people for my podcast. I wouldn't be able to write historical fiction books like this one that seems to be selling really well. This one came out in June of last year. It's a lot of fun. It's about my grandmother's life as a wing walker in the 1930s and 40s. Um, it is based on her actual love story of the man that she fell in love with who was not my grandfather. 